that would be Strobe and Francine. Ha <laughs> ha, your turn. Haven't seen your parents in quite a number of years. We were practically inseparable for a while. I remember that. This is weird. These are my other grandparents. I don't even know them. What do I call them? Call them what I call them. Ass. Chris. Sorry, my tie's too tight. Just uh, call them Strobe and Francine. Mm -hmm. Call them Mr. and Mrs. Hayden. Sir and ma'am. Why don't you just avoid calling them anything? Now look who's here. Hello, mother. Pop. Christopher. Christopher. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Hayden, long time no see. Lorelei. You look well. I, I am, thanks. You remember Rory? You haven't seen her in quite a while. No, we haven't. I think she was just beginning to speak in complete sentences. So not for two years, then. <clears throat> Did, but she's obviously been talking a long time, so I was making a humorous comment, sometimes referred to as a, as a joke. I see you haven't changed, Lorelai. No, not at all. Rory, hello. Hi. <laughs> Did you just curtsy? Shut up. Sorry, milady. Uh, Strobe, Francine, how about a martini? Please. Well, Strobe, how is retirement treating you? Yes, do tell us about the Bahamas. You can get an entire island there for the cost of a decent house here. Really? Oh. How about you, Richard? Any thoughts of retirement crossing your mind? Oh, oh, oh. oh, Strobe, if only you could talk him into it. <laughs> I've given up. We're very pleased about Christopher's business success out in California. Yes, it's taken a while, but it seems to be finally coming together. Seems to be. Christopher, your tie, please. <clears throat> Strobe and friend, <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Um, are you enjoying your time here? Um, um, you too? That she got from you. How old are you, young lady? 16. A dangerous age for girls. Strobe. Rory is a very special child, excellent student, very bright. You should have a talk with her, Strobe. She could give you a run for your money. Is that so? That's right. Well, I think my money is safe. I hate President Bush. What? Lorelai. Oh, boy. He's stupid, and his face is too tiny for his head, and I just want to toss him out. That is the leader of our country, young lady. Ignore her. His face is too tiny for his head? What kind of a thing is that to say? I see your daughter's just as out of control as ever, Richard. Pop, please, let's try to keep it civil. Tell me, Lorelai, what have you been doing with your life anyway? Uh, besides hating successful businessmen, I'm just curious. Why don't we all go into the dining room? Well, uh, Strobe, I run an inn near Stars Hollow. Really? Yes, really. Dad, come on. Nice to see you found your calling. Dinner's ready. Christopher, your tie. Mom, please. And is your life everything you hoped it would be? Yes, it is. Because it seems to me you might not want to take quite such a haughty tone when you announce to the world that you work in a hotel. Well, there's nothing wrong with where I work. Strobe, please, I'm getting a headache. Come on, Richard, lead us into the dining room now. If you'd attended a university as your parents had planned, and as we planned in vain for Christopher, you might have aspired to something more than a blue-collar position. Don't do this. And I wouldn't give a damn about you derailing your own life if you hadn't swept my son along with you. Honey, go in the next room. Go, go. I'm going to have to echo Christopher's call for civility here. A mutual mistake was made many years ago by these two, but they've come a long way since. A mutual mistake, Richard. This whole evening is ridiculous. We're supposed to sit here like one big happy family and pretend that the damage that was done is over, gone? I don't care about how good a student you say that girl is. Hey! Our son was bound for Princeton. Every Hayden male attended Princeton, including myself, but it all stopped with Christopher. It's a humiliation we've had to live with every day, all because you seduced him into ruining his life. She had that baby, and she ended his future. You recant that stroke. You're spilling my drink! You owe my daughter an apology. An apology? That is rich. How dare you? How dare you? Richard, How you dare doing? you come into my house and insult my daughter? Let go of me. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Shame on you, Strobe. Shame on you for opening all of this up again. Get your purse, Frank. My daughter is very successful at what she does. We're leaving. You're not leaving. I'm kicking you out. And you brought up Bush because... It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. I feel 16. 